Okay, um, a lot of people ask me now that I'm retired a couple months, what do I do all day? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, this is my book, record book. Uh, the name of my boat, uh, it's a 45 Columbia, and her name is Miss Mercedes. Uh, it's named after my uh, Labrador, uh, Mercedes, who passed away about four years ago. Great, great dog. Um, I had just gotten the boat maybe five or six months uh, before she passed away and I really didn't do a lot of work on it the first couple of years that I had it um, I mean I got the bottom cleaned on it repainted and things like that um, so the last actually about year and a half is really where I've been uh, putting some time and effort into it and if you go back into my videos uh, like all the way to video one you can basically uh, get an idea of what uh, I've gone through, been through with the uh, boat, putting her back together again because the side was all damaged on her. But that's basically the book and uh, uh, that's the information on her right there. And that's my to-do list. And I actually moved on to the boat on 12-18. Um, I had a business in Abita Springs which is about 20 miles from here so I was traveling here to where the boat's at uh, a couple, three or four times a week and working on it. But you really can't get a whole lot done working you know three or four hours a day uh, now that I've uh, back living on the boat um, I can get uh, a lot done and it's like I said this is just a list and uh, just stuff that has to be done you can see like paint new fiberglass install new Craco filters the uh, the red ch check marks are uh, things that I need to do but they're more time consuming and harder things to do uh, but you'll see some of them checked off, like this one right here. Uh, remove ice chest in the dining area. Uh, there was an ice chest uh, underneath one of the seats in the dinette area, and it just took up a lot of space, and you really couldn't put much in it. And I, I removed that. Uh, Recalked the shower. Um, that was took me probably a couple days actually, because it was uh, digging out all the old caulk, and I'm talking there was five different flavors of caulk in this thing plus once I got all the caulk out uh, then I repainted uh, the bottom plate on it where you stand at and uh, then I went back and recalked it so like I said a lot of this stuff is just uh, time consuming uh, build side for the build size for the stairs that I installed and a lot of this stuff you'll have to go back into my videos and find out what I'm talking about uh, like this one right here is clean and seal the 130 gallon water tank uh, I cleaned it, but I haven't uh, resealed the uh, top part of it yet. Uh, install the cabinets. Uh, that's when I got pretty much the side done, and I was able to install the cabinets. So this is just uh, stuff that needs to be done. Like uh, that was that build and install the 8D uh, batteries. Uh, that was a week's worth of work, uh, getting underneath the uh, by the engine and tearing out stuff and cutting stuff and then getting the batteries down in there but it's all done that's just uh, pages and pages of stuff and uh, this right here um, when I moved out of my shop uh, I had a tremendous amount of tools and stuff that I brought with me and so I started putting stuff in just anywhere I could get it and it seemed like every time that I uh, wanted to find something I couldn't find it so after uh, about, a, about a month of fighting with finding this or finding that or a screwdriver or a brush or you know a drill or something I said okay enough of this stuff so what I did was I made a diagram of every hatch opening in this boat and uh, then what I did was I uh, made a list of everything that was in the uh, in the hole or whatever and like this is the forward bathroom and in the forward bathroom, I've got all this stuff stored in there, call vents, uh, the marine radio. This is mostly stuff that I've got to install, you know, uh, you know. but they've got like the flare set, the build blowers, and uh, it had two. Now I'm down to one because I installed one for the bathroom, if you can go back a couple videos, things like that. And this is all the uh, stuff that's stored, like the dinette hatch. I've got... Uh, uh, the wind charger and that stuff was in there. Well, I've got that out. I need to check that off, which I haven't. Uh, I've got a thousand watt light bar, all kind of stuff like that. Outside hatches. 
Um, this is uh, something I built. Uh, I raised the refrigerators up in the uh, forward berth because I couldn't get underneath the uh, in the hatches that were in there and there's a lot of stainless steel and things like that that I needed so I basically uh, measured everything and, and uh, designed uh, wood uh, you can see right here so I can now uh, I can get uh, to these hatches right here and they'll slide out and I can get to them I still have to move some of the cat stuff but not a big deal but uh, that's just stuff that uh, I've done and it takes time and effort. And uh, here's the battery set up um, <coughs> for the inverter. There's the two 8D batteries and there's the four 6 volters. And they're going to go down to the inverter. And the wire, a couple of videos ago, if you watch, uh, we strip in the wire, that's what the wire is going to be. And then now I just got to figure out um, where I'm going to install it at. <laughs> that. Uh, idea where it goes. And more pages. You know, I can install a motor on the dinghy. <laughs> I had an electric trolling motor so I installed it. Uh, cleaned the rooftop AC condenser. Um, it was icing up a little bit so I cleaned it and uh, took care of that. And uh, install <coughs> the city water system which I haven't done yet. I've got a 130 gallon tank so I just fill it up about once every two weeks and it's plenty of water. But uh, I will install a water system on the boat where I don't have to fill the tank. And then this page right here, this is on the uh, new marine charger. Like I said, if you go back to videos, you'll uh, see it. And there was like four, the company had four different uh, chargers. And I determined that I had what they call the Arix Marine um, and what I'm trying to do with it is I've got it uh, put up on a makeshift tower about 15, 16 feet in the air. <clears throat> but the only problem with this charger is um, it's got a startup speed of 8 miles an hour. That's all well and good when the wind's blowing and things like that. But when this boat's under sail or under power, um, 6 miles an hour, you know, 6.5 miles an hour. So this charger is actually not going to be, uh, blades aren't going to be turning. Uh, but there's a guy on eBay uh, that has a set of blades. Uh, the blades that come on this, uh, if I remember right, are 46 inches in diameter. And the blades he's got are 62 inches. Uh, they look like they're a little wider blade. I, I emailed him, but I haven't heard back from him to get the exact specs on them. And then also he's got these uh, small little plates that uh, you put on the rotor where you mount the blades at and what it does is you can change the pitch uh, of the blades so I'm hoping uh, the blades are about 80 bucks which isn't bad um, and I'm hoping that uh, if I install those blades I can get the uh, miles per hour down to a starting speed around 6 or something like that that way when I'm traveling the blades are turning and we're charging the batteries but uh, that's you know stuff like that you know install new blower for the bathroom I did that and uh, I got one to install for the engine compartment but that's basically what I do every day I try to do a couple two or three of the small things and uh, then at least I try to get a couple of the hard things done a week maybe one or two of them and like some of these like I said they're uh, they're very time consuming so but, uh, that's what we do so if you think retirement on a boat is all good Oh yeah, we drink a lot of coffee and we sit on the deck a lot and shoot the shit and do this and do that. It's peaceful and quiet, but uh, a lot of work still to be done. So, uh, but that's what we do. Uh, that's it for this video. Say goodnight, Mel. Goodnight!